good morning children welcome back to part 3 class that is reproduction in organisms in part 1 we have discussed about asexual reproduction in the organisms part 2 we discussed about the sexual reproduction in the organisms okay that is part 2 last class sexual reproduction what is sexual reproduction it is a type of reproduction in which the offspring develops from the zygote which is formed by the fusion of male and female gametes of the same individual or different individuals of the opposite sex then we discussed about the what are the features of the sexual reproduction what are the characters of the sexual reproduction first point biparental what is the meaning of by two two parents which are that parents male and female second point formation and fusion of gametes takes place gametes uh, means male sex cell and female sex cells are involved in the sexual reproduction third point offspring are not similar to the parents not identical to the parents next offsprings show variations due to the genetic recombination they are showing the different characters next point fifth point offsprings have better chance of survival last point sixth point rate of reproduction is slow then we saw that one the which is the better mode of reproduction what is answer sexual reproduction why it is called like that because these are showing the better offsprings are produced with the genetic variations and also these organisms to survive in unfavorable conditions or adapt to changing environmental conditions now next we discussed about the what are the differences between asexual and sexual reproduction uniparental biparental somatic cells germ cells are involved means the uh, next uh, in asexual reproduction offspring are genetically and morphologically similar to the parents but sexual reproduction offsprings are genetically dissimilar to the parents then in asexual reproduction the rate of reproduction is fast then the sexual reproduction the rate of reproduction is slow then we discussed about the different stages in the life cycle of living organisms okay what how many stages are there three stages what are they first one it is a juvenile phase that is the before sexually reproducing the organisms the period of growth of an organism before the maturity in the animals is called juvenile phase in the plants it is called what is that vegetative phase next second one what is that one reproductive phase after the juvenile phase the reproductive stage is starting there is a particular period of time individual to individual it is different then we discussed about the senescent phase or the old age that is it leads after the reproductive stage it is a reproductive phase of an organism it's not a particular day of that one. there is a period of time it will take there is a particular period of time leads to the old age aging growth because it is helping with the hormones they all are the metabolism leads to the death of the organisms and it is slow metabolism is slow because of that it is happening then we discussed about the reproductive pause the reproductive stages in the flower flower means what are the flowering stages so in the some plants show the daily flowers means some flowers are the seasonal flowering some flowers it is uh, there only in one year one flower in the same month 
sunflowers shows once in their lifetime only one flower which is that ensemble bamboo species only once in their lifetime they are giving only one flower then next we discussed about that last one more point was say once in 12 years one flower that is called strobilanthus kundiana or it is in the neelakurunji plant they are giving once in 12 years strobilanthus kundiana that is present in the hilly areas of the karnataka kerala tamil nadu and which is attract to the tourist peoples next we will discuss about the reproductive phases in the animals in animals the juvenile phase is followed by morphological and physiological changes prior to active reproductive behavior the reproductive phase is also of a variable duration in different organisms among animals for example birds do they lay eggs all through the year hmm you tell the answer they will give the eggs every day or is it a seasonal phenomenon only particular period of time okay what about other animals like frogs and lizards snakes you will notice that birds living in the nature lay eggs only seasonally however birds in the poultry farms can be made to lay eggs throughout the year in this case laying eggs is not related to reproduction but it is only for the commercial purpose the females of placental mammals what is the meaning of mammals mammary glands are present okay Ma- placental mammals shows cyclical changes in the activities of ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormones during the reproductive phase see that one we'll see that one the cyclical changes there is a cycle is there in the activities of ovary female reproductive part and connected ducts ducts means connected veins as well as the hormones during the reproductive phase of the primate mammals we'll discuss about later what is the primate mammals is called menstrual cycle see listen what is the menstrual cycle the cyclical changes in the activities of ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormones during the reproductive phase of primate mammals is called menstrual cycle that that time normally females do not show means or uh, irresistible sexual urge that means they are not convincing the males or not tempting the males not too attractive that time the females then also they are it is a process taking place inside the body of the females the shedding of endometrium and bleeding occurs there is a cycle of changes every month bleeding will take place because of the inside the structure one layer of the uterus that is called endometrium that is bursting and bleeding occurs then there is no heat period and the copulation means sexual intercourse occurs during any part of the cycle there is no particular period of time any time it is taking place this will happen menstrual cycle will happen only in the monkeys apes and humans now we'll summarize what is the menstrual cycle one more time listen here menstrual cycle is present mainly in the human beings apes and monkeys the cyclical changes in the activities of ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormones during the reproductive phase of primate mammals this type of the mammals are called primate mammals is called menstrual cycle in this case females do not show 
irresistible sexual urge not convincing then the shedding of endometrium and bleeding occurs fourth point there is no heat period and copulation occurs during any part of the cycle now what will happen in the non primate mammals okay we'll check it that is the cyclic changes in the activities of ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormones during the reproductive phase of non primates is called oost cycle is called oost cycle see what are the characters there female show so strong irresistible sexual urge because they are very much attractive into that particular period of time females are very much that is only particular season it is not like a continuous in menstrual cycle it is reproductive it is any part of any part of the cycle timing any during that reproductive time they are active but this one in the oestrus cycle they the females show strong irresistible sexual urge then the shedding of endometrium and bleeding do not occur menstrual cycle the bleeding will occur but here it is do not occur then next there is heat production at the time of ovulation reproductive time and copulation occurs only at that period of time so listen here only that it is a seasonal breeders only particular period of time only ovulation and also the copulation what is meaning a copulation sexual intercourse it will take only particular period of time next what are the examples cow sheep rats dogs dog tigers etc so again we can discuss about the what are the differences between first menstrual cycle second it is oestrus cycle in the menstrual cycle the cyclic changes occurs in the primate mammals oestrus cycle it is in the non primate mammals in the menstrual cycle females do not show irresistible sexual urge in the oestrus cycle females show strong irresistible sexual urge in menstrual cycle the shedding of endometrium and bleeding occurs oestrus cycle in the shedding of endometrium and bleeding what is that do not occur then fourth point there is no heat period and copulation occurs during any time any part of the cycle but in the oestrus cycle animals which one is follow in the oestrus cycle there is heat production at the time of ovulation and also copulation occurs only at that period examples of menstrual cycle monkeys apes and humans oestrus cycle examples cow sheep rat dogs dog tigers these are the mammals mammary glands are present give birth to the young ones these having the oestrus cycle that is the main difference between the two types of the mammals primate mammals and non primate mammals now we will discuss about the continuous and seasonal breeders see listen in the flowering also we saw that one there are two types many types mainly it is seasonal flowers and continuous flowers same like animals also the first we will discuss about the continuous breeders these are the organisms that are reproductively that word is important they are reproductively active throughout their reproductive phase any part of the time any part of this menstrual cycle they are active they are called the continuous breeders are the organisms that are reproductively active throughout their reproductive phase example is a human beings okay continuous breeders they are reproductively active throughout their reproductive phase next we will discuss about the seasonal breeders okay tell me what is that seasonal breeders are the organisms that reproduce only in some favorable seasons only in 
their reproductive time they will reproduce only some favorable seasons they are the mammals which mammal it is primate or non primate non primate mammals living in the natural and wild conditions what is meaning wild condition they are the living in the jungle or that is not normally present in the now these are the characters seasonal breeders and the continuous breeders differences also it is important the end of the reproductive phase is known as the senescence or old age old age ultimately leads to death in both plants and animals hormones are responsible for the transition between three phases what are the three phases juvenile phase or vegetative phase second reproductive phase and the third one it is the senescence phase phase or old aging so they are the interaction between hormones and certain environmental factors regulate the reproductive process and the associated behavioral expressions of organisms next we are going to discuss about the events in sexual reproduction see that one the main chapter heading is reproduction in organisms juvenile phase or vegetative phase before the reproduction now the reproduction after that the senescent stage so what are the events what is happening in the sexual reproduction now we have to discuss about what are the events in sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is the fusion of the male and female gametes and the formation of the zygote zygote is developed into the embryo then to the embryogenesis for convenience these sequential events may be grouped into again three distinct stages they are the first one pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization events first we have to discuss about what is happening in the reproductive stage what is happening in the pre fertilization event pre fertilization events are included into two main events first one it is the gametogenesis cell sex cells are forming genesis means formation gametogenesis means formation of the sex cells and second one it is the gamete transfer then first we should discuss about about the gametogenesis gametogenesis is the process of formation of the haploid male and female gametes listen always the gametes are haploid cells now the formation of the male and female gametes are called gametogenesis some cases like algae the gametes male and female gametes are morphologically similar morphologically means external structures the male and female gametes are similar in size and shape is called homogametes or isogametes but in the majority of sexually reproducing organisms the gametes produced are of two morphologically distinct types separate types they are the gametes are haploid cells but male and female gametes morphologically means their size and shape is different that is called heterogametes listen homogametes similar in size and shape heterogametes dissimilar in size and shape in this heterogametes the male gamete is called androsoid or sperm androsoid means that is present in the plants sperm is present in the animals then the female gamete is called egg or ovum isn't the female gamete is called egg or ovum in the heterogametes male gamete is called androsoid or sperm the female gamete is called egg or ovum thank you